autonomy to all the state houses of assembly across the federation and uh, at the same time we are also demanding for general welfare of our staff those are the major reasons why we are striking the issue of autonomy is a conventional position because according to section one two one three four Nigeria constitution has amended so it gives room for the autonomy of the House of Assembly and judiciary. And the way the money meant for the legislative House of Assembly and judiciary should be disposed to them. So our message to them is that so we have to appeal to them, appeal to them in the sense that this issue is a constitutional provision. Even uh, I don't know why the major problem we have is governors, the issue of Nigeria's governors. I want to believe that. Because I know some of these governors may want to do it, but maybe there may be a unanimous decision within them. I don't want to do this thing. Otherwise, uh, I wouldn't know the reason why the governors say they don't want to give autonomy to the house. Firstly, it is a direct attack on the constitution of Nigeria, which they also sworn to uphold the constitution. So if they now refuse to give autonomy, then it means the same constitution they promised to uphold, they are attacking it. So I want to use the opportunity to urge all the governor as a matter of urgency, do the need to so that all the state out of assembly will go back to their work. The giving autonomy to houses of assembly, it will threaten the legislature, it will threaten the democracy in the country. So that's just the advice I want to give to all these. So.